Hey there, in this video, I'll show you how to get started with Backstage on Kubernetes in just a couple minutes. Specifically, we'll be using Red Hat's Red Hat Developer Hub, and we'll be deploying it on top of Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform, which both are powered by Backstage and Kubernetes respectively. Now, to get access to a hosted Kubernetes environment, or rather Red Hat OpenShift environment, we'll be using the developer sandbox feature offered by Red Hat Developer. If you want, you can start your sandbox for free, and it will bring you over to console.redhat.com, where you can find your developer sandbox features. Specifically, we're looking for Red Hat OpenShift. So I've already logged in just to save a bit of time. So I'll go ahead here and from my developer sandbox, select OpenShift. What this will do is it will log me into an existing OpenShift instance and give me a project to play around with. So I'm selecting the Evan Shortus dev project. Uh, your project will be named according to your username. Once you've selected your project, make sure to select the developer perspective here on the left and choose the add menu. And from the add menu here, we can find Helm charts and that's how we're gonna install Red Hat Developer Hub. So I'll select the Helm charts option, filter for Red Hat Helm charts and search for the developer hub Helm chart. I'll go ahead and select it. And after selecting the Helm chart, I can now choose a specific version. I'm gonna go with the latest 1.3.0. There's a few properties I need to configure. And the first one is the cluster router base. So this is going to be the uh, domain that our OpenShift console or OpenShift um, instance is running on. And you can find this in the address bar of your web browser. So you can copy the host name that you're currently running at. So it should look something like console-openshift-console followed by a uh, domain. And we're just gonna strip away the console piece here because that gives us the base router domain. The next thing we need to do is configure authentication. Now, for backstage authentication, you can integrate with GitHub, GitLab, and various other providers such as Azure, and even any OpenID Connect compatible provider. We're gonna be using a guest authentication provider here to make this demo nice and easy. So I'm gonna go over to the documentation here for Red Hat Developer Hub, copy this snippet, and here under the app config, I'll just paste it in with the correct indentation. So you can see we're uh, configuring auth and we're using the guest provider and we're going to allow outside development. Now this is named dangerously allow outside development because you should be using a valid authentication provider. We're just using this for demo purposes. So I'll go ahead and click create now. And what happens now is the Helm chart is gonna be rolled out. And after a few moments, we will see a Postgres instance being spun up and Red Hat Developer Hub being spun up. This can take two minutes roughly the first time you do it, but subsequent deploys will be much faster. So let's just wait. And once Red Hat Developer Hub is reporting a status of ready instead of pending, we'll be able to visit our up and running Developer Hub instance. And there you go, Developer Hub is now up and running. So I can click on the open URL icon here and I can log in using the guest provider that we enabled. And that's it, we can see the homepage of our backstage or rather our developer hub instance. We can see a catalog that is empty because we have to populate it with software entities and our APIs, for example. And we can even go to the settings here and see that we are in fact logged in as the guest user. So that's it, we have got backstage up and running on Kubernetes, thanks to Red Hat Developer Hub and Red Hat OpenShift. Stay tuned for future videos where we'll talk about things like authentication and importing software entities. Thanks.